Hey preschool friends, it's Wednesday, and I thought today we could do some science. Science is one of my favorite things, you guys know that. Remember last time we made our mini volcano? I've still got mine. And you know how earlier this week we were playing with eggs? Well, I thought we could do some science with an egg. Why not? So what you're gonna need for this experiment is an egg, preferably hard boiled. I still have one left over from Easter. It's my last one, I swear. So I've got my hard boiled egg. You're gonna need a jar. My, I have old, um, this had sun-dried tomatoes in it. I really like to eat sun-dried tomatoes. So if you haven't had them, I recommend you try them because they're very tasty. Or you can make your own sun-dried tomatoes. That's really fun. Ooh, maybe we should do that. Mmm, that's a thought. Okay, so I've got my egg and I've got my jar. And you need a jar or a bottle that the egg won't fit in. See how my egg won't go in there? Ah, oh, it's sad. I'd really like my egg to go in there. Hmm, I wonder how we can get it inside. Do you think I should smash it? No? Why? Oh, you're right. So that would break the egg. And I don't want to break my egg. I just want to get it in that jar. Hmm. How can I do it? Oh, I have an idea. What if we suck the egg into the jar? Hmm. Sasha teacher, how are we going to suck an egg into the jar? It's a great question. Well, I think to do that, we're going to need to make a vacuum. So friends, I bet that one of your adults has a vacuum, right? And they use it to clean the floor and it goes At least that's what mine sounds like. And my dog hates it. She hates the noise. She's always trying to attack it. But what does a vacuum do? Well, it sucks up all the stuff that's on the floor. And it does that by removing the air. So let's go ahead and try and make a suction with our mouth because that's the easiest way for us to make air, right? Okay, so we can blow out air. Can you feel it? I can feel the air that I'm making and we can take the air in, right? And that makes some suction so we're pulling the air in and that makes a suction can you feel it do you hear that that's how a vacuum works that suction from pulling air in so how am i gonna pull all the air into my bottle to get the egg in hmm well we're gonna use some fire. Now this is where you need your adult because we don't wanna play with fire without an adult. Today I have some matches. So I'm gonna to try to make some fire in my jar. I'm gonna put um, another match or some paper in there just to make sure that it stays on fire. I'm gonna streak it. Woo, there it is. There's my fire. So I'm going to put it in there. I hope it stays going. Okay, it's still lit. I'm going to put the egg on top. And hopefully, this will suck all the oat while my fire went out. Hmm, now it's just filling with smoke. We should try again. But hey, that's science, friends. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But we can always try again. It didn't work this time because my fire went out because I just washed my jar. I should have used a dry jar. But I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna take my egg off and I'm gonna get some paper to try and make more fire in my jar. So lucky for me, I have some paper right here. I'm just gonna tear a little piece off and I'm gonna light it on fire. Well. Your adult should do this part. We're gonna light it on fire with a lighter. So 
here it goes I want to make sure it's burning pretty good before I put it in my jar all right put it in the jar and put the egg on top burn baby burn come on come on hmm you can see it's almost out again all right I, friends I think I'm gonna need to dry out my jar I'll be right back all right friends we're back and we've really got a match going this time. I'm hoping that it's gonna stay lit in my jar. Come on. One more, one more, one more. With some good paper. All right, it's on fire. It's in the jar, the egg goes on top. Let's see what happens. Okay, well the fire went out and it's smoking so maybe that means it's still sucking up the air no I think it's not gonna work because my fire went out again I can't seem to get my fire to stay lit I think maybe it's the kind of jar I picked Maybe because it's just a long skinny jar. Maybe I need a jar with a small neck and a big round bottom or like um, like a milk jar or something like that. But anyways, kids, bad science. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you can try it at home and hopefully you can be more successful. Maybe I'll try it again a little bit later, but I've been trying for quite some time now to get it and it's just not working for me today. And you know what? That's okay. Because we can do other stuff, too. It's a really rainy day outside, so maybe I'm going to build a blanket fort. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. I hope you guys are doing good, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!